So yeah, next, next micronutrient, zinc. Should we talk about that one? Yes, no? Allison looks excited. So um, what, what about zinc nutrition in, in canola? Like, I, I guess uh, I'll, I'll start off with a little bit. Like, needed early on. Um, we know zinc's needed for root growth involved with, with boron and, and phosphorus. Um, so some early zinc nutrition is going to be crucial to help develop those those strong roots, those uh, effective root system, especially you start thinking about it. We, we need those roots to explore. We need them to find, find nutrients in the soil and you want them healthy and doing the best they, they can. Um, so that, when I'm talking zinc nutrition, I, I am really focused on, on root growth, uh, but it, it is used other places. Um, Allison, do you, do you want to talk about some of those? Well, so you're just kind of talking about like with zinc and growth hormones. I would say zinc is important whenever there's going to be um, a lot of biomass growth or, you know, at flower and, you know, whenever there's going to be a big change in that plant, that zinc needs to be there to make sure it's helping out with the growth hormones, making sure the energy is there. Um, that plant is going through a big change and when it's lacking something such as zinc, you, you'll start seeing that just in the fact that it could be, a little stunted or um, just not growing properly because it is mm -hmm. so important in that growth hormone. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Mark, any physiology stuff you you you, uh, you want to add to that? Any more stuff? Um, I think it's uh, a good point that the the switch uh, that that Allison was talking about, and I think there's an important switch, uh, and we got to think about where we are uh, in the country, Western Canada, um, how our crops have been bred. We, we, we are a short growing season. It doesn't matter whether we're yep. in Southern Alberta or whatever, you're classified as a very short growing season. So the capacity for the plant to vegetatively grow and then the switch, as we say, uh, that regulation from vegetative to reproductive growth, that, that that's a huge hormone regulation uh, standpoint. So it's helped with regard to that switch and how a plant will transition. Um, again, other nutrients involved in this process, phosphorus, uh, again, moving, moving things around. Here's that potassium uh, conversation again. Um, but yeah, when, anytime we have a major switch uh, um, in, in biomass change, uh, switching from, from uh, growing our solar panels, our leaves, um, our, our big bushy plant, and now that plant is going to be uh, wanting to change gears to a reproductive phase. You know, we've got to think about how, how zinc is involved in that, and it's very heavily involved in it. So that would be my only point at the moment. Yeah, though, though that's, that, that's a good point to, to add. Um, I think uh, there, there's a lot can be talked about with any, any micronutrient and, and its need throughout the growing season. Um, 